What's going on YouTube? Seabeard Try coming back at you from the art room. I think I'm bumping into the stand here, wiggling the camera. Uh, coming to you pretty excited today. I'm doing kind of a uh, different video than what you would normally expect. Um, so hopefully you don't just immediately, immediately click right off of this. Uh, but I'm super excited. I, over the past weekend, uh, decided to make the plunge and buy me a um, not really professional. I don't know. You know, it's not professional by no means, but a much higher quality camera. Um, as many of you know, I record all these videos still just on my iPhone. And you know, I've got three teenagers. Um, one's a senior this year. Want to be a senior next year, and then the next year I'll have a senior. So you know, senior pictures, proms, you know driving all that kind of stuff um we wanted to get a family camera you know we do some hiking different things um that you know uh, we like to get out and enjoy and do and, and take pictures of and kind of record uh, videos and whatnot i shared my last hiking trip with you all for my oldest daughter's birthday um but yeah you know we, we've been thinking for a long time about you know making the plunge and buying a camera uh, we've never had anything more than like a point and click camera um, other than, you know, what's built into the iPhones. Uh, so, you know, never had a real camera, so to speak. Um, but I decided to make the plunge and get one and it came in today. So I am super excited. Going to kind of do a, I don't know, a half-assed unboxing with you all. Kind of show you what I bought and um, yeah, let you check it out as I check it out. This first box here, I think this is all the accessories. I didn't buy a whole lot, but I got a few to go with it. It's already been opened because um, I also ordered my son some shoes and mom thought that maybe they were in this box, but once she opened it, she realized it wasn't. But none of the actual items in here are open, so you're gonna see them first with me as well. Got my handy dandy tool. Get in here and see what all we got. Lots of bubble wrap. Oh. Okay, that's something different. <laughs> My daughter plays guitar. She busted a string, so we had to get a uh, guitar string tool. So that's separate. That don't count. I forgot that was in there. I'll set that to the side. All right, so let's see what we got first here. Oh, yeah. The one thing, the camera that I went with... One of the things that the reviews was talking about is that it didn't have a super long battery life. So I ordered two extra batteries and that comes with the charger and the USB cable. So a nice little hard case to keep them in. Yeah. Beston, best on, whatever. I don't know. It was highly recommended on Amazon. So that's what I went with. Did order all this stuff from Amazon um, just because we're Prime members and, you know, get the free shipping and all that kind of stuff. Plus, they had a, a good bundle deal. I'll show you that in a second. But yeah, two extra batteries with the charger and the cables. I like the little handy dandy case ah this Ben's photo Besson photo I don't know how to pronounce it but it is my Very schmexy mini camera case. They have these big massive bundle deals that you can buy and it comes with everything kind of pre-selected. But for the same price, I was able to go through and kind of find my own things that I liked and order those to go along with the camera. So I ended up spending pretty close to the same amount that I could have got one of those pre-made bundles for, but I got to pick out my own stuff. Like they had just standard bags and you know, some of them come with tripods, I already have a tripod. Um, you know, different things like that. Just trying to figure out what exactly I wanted to get and, 
you know, what I didn't want to get duplicates of. So I went with this bag, you know, it's small. I just got a smaller camera um, and don't have a ton of lenses. So I thought that the smaller bag would kind of be more efficient and not take up, you know, as much room. Obviously, as I get better equipment, I may upgrade and get a better bag, but yeah, nice little uh, bag here. Kind of a canvas material, like a military green type look. Uh, comes with the shoulder strap. Top Velcros. This is a waterproof canvas material, according to the website. Um, you know, it's just got the water resistant zipper seal around the the edge so that it's more than just a standard zipper um, it's got the belt loop you want to attach it to your belt and then like I said the shoulder straps there uh, dual side zipper so you can unzip or zip from both directions and a couple of different compartments on the inside nice bigger area for the camera and then a smaller area for some you know smaller accessories and whatnot um but it's it's stiff and stable empty so that it's not collapsing down when you're trying to put your camera and stuff in there you can just you know fold back the lid drop down in there good to go i really like the looks of that so that's why i went with that one and then like i said i just got a uh get rid of that box there just got kind of a small accessory pack for the time being. You know, I didn't want to go too haywire. I still ended up spending pretty close to, I think it ended up being like just under $900 for everything. Um, everything all together. And, you know, definitely could have went way over. Um, no, I think it was just over 800 because I think... Yeah, I think it was just a little over 800. I'd have to go back and look. But, uh, trying to avoid cutting into anything on the inside. Let's see what we got here. First thing out the gate. Oh, just a nice little lens cover wrist strap this is a tulip lens hood 49 millimeter and I am not a camera guy so I don't know what half of this stuff is but uh, we're gonna learn figure it out second out the gate here also a Vivitar, some kind of a rubber grommet. Like I said, I'll figure this out, I'm learning. Uh, does not tell me what that is on the back. It's just got a model number. So I may have to look that up. Ah, also vivitar we've got a 49 millimeter four piece close-up macro lenses we got a 10 time a four time a two time and a one time how cool is that i kind of want to see what they look like you probably want to see what they look like i'm excited about this stuff Oh, it's got a sweet little carrying case. That's awesome. Little booklet. Too cool. Little magnifying lenses. Can you see me? How cool is that? So I got four pieces of those. Four piece little cleaning cloth, a three piece, 49 millimeter, 
multi-coated filter kit. We've got UV protective filter, a CPL or circular polarizer filter, and an FLD fluorescent filter. So, a little three-piece filter kit. That's pretty cool. Let's see what one of those bad boys look like. Oh, got another awesome little case. I like that they don't just throw their stuff in there. Another little booklet. Oh, check that out. It's purple. I'm Barney. <laughs> that is too cool. I'm geeking out over all this stuff. How awesome is that? That's too cool. Put that back in there. Don't get my grubby fingerprints all over it. So I love these little cases they put them in. Each little thing has its own little spot. I'm all about things having a spot. Love that. Oh, yeah. 62 millimeter. Front thread. Vivitar. Wide angle lens. Well, I don't know. It says 62 millimeter up there. And it says 49 millimeter down there. Maybe it's... Uh, I don't know. This is a wide angle lens though, with micro. Another awesome little pouch. Wow, handy dandy. Everything's covered and protected. Got a cover. thought so so that's got the macro built into it so you can do the two different ones I reckon that's cool okay so on your cover on the other side high definition 0.43 times wide angle converter with macro so wheat. Put that back in its handy dandy little leather pouch. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then this one, all that's in that bag, is the 49 millimeter telephoto lens. case. Handy dandy. Little drawstring bag. Oh. Covers are down on there. to scratch up my hands with that pocket knife. Well, 
Need instructions on how to open it. There we go. Just had to get around there. Hmm. Shows it's got little threads in there, but it didn't want to unscrew. Anyway, that is the telephone lens. I'm all up close and personal. Cool. Maybe I just wasn't holding my mouth right on that. See, I've already got my, my fat little hand on the front of the lens and it had a smooge on it. Don't want no smooges. HD high def 2.2 times telephoto converter. Too cool. All right, now to the Coupe de Grassi, the actual camera. This is still in the Amazon pack, all sealed up. I have looked at this camera for the past year. When I first started researching and trying to figure out what camera I wanted to get, because I wanted something that was good for pictures and video, um, and so, yeah, I've been looking at this thing for the past year. And they do have technically a newer model, but there is very, very little difference between the newer model and the one that I've got. Um, and for the price difference, I didn't see any reason to full on go with the uh, newest one, especially with this being kind of my first foray into cameras. Like I said, I didn't want to get too ridiculous. in that box and we have the Canon dun, dun, dun. EOS M50 look at that how cool is that this is the little bundle deal that I got like I said you can get bundles that come with all kinds of stuff but I really like the Rode microphone or what I've read on it. And I really like this camera. And so this bundle come with these two items and then I just bought everything else separately. They got me double and triple boxed up in here. Safe shipping. That's what I like to see. Oh, how cool. Look at that bad boy. EOS M50. Like I said, I've been looking at this M50 for over a year now. And looking at all the reviews. Um, and yeah, I know, you know, it, it's got some issues that some people aren't too happy about. You know, the 4K uh, video recording crops the picture way down and all this other kind of stuff. But it's still a really good camera and all the positives definitely outweighed the negatives and it had everything that I was looking for. So we've got the handy dandy little Canon neck strap. That's awesome. Actually, let's see what the, let's go with the, the mic first since the camera is like the, the main attraction. Let's go with this first. It come with a uh, 32 gigabyte little memory card. That's awesome. And look at that. That is too cool. The Video Mic Go lightweight on camera microphone. Supposedly these are really good mics. Uh, the Rode brand in general is kind of a go-to vlogging mic. A lot of people really like them. A 
and they have extra accessories that you can get along with them, wind socks and all kinds of little things. No battery required, lightweight, integrated, Rycote Lear suspension, two year warranty. Road microphones. Now how cool is that? Shotgun mic. I'm gonna be in high def and high class audio, folks. I probably won't be any more entertaining but I'll look better and sound better doing it. <laughs> Plug in. And quick start guide. Sweet. Very excited to put all this stuff to the test. Oh, I'm running out of room on my desk. Okay, now back to the camera. I got sidetracked, got my neck strip. Got the battery. This is the actual 15 to 45 millimeter lens with image stabilizer. this is cool to you guys but it's cool to me like I said I've never had a camera so I am extremely excited ah, little charger so now I got two since I bought the extra don't put it on my, my boxes back there Freaking cool is that. Fully articulated screen. So that I can see myself talking to you guys. EOS M50. in the place there we have it folks the mirrorless Canon M50 now I know you know a lot of people like the DS DSRL DSLR yeah DSLR uh, cameras and everything I looked at on those you know they had you know really good picture qualities and various different things but I wanted something smaller lightweight you know planning on doing some like i said some kind of travel type stuff hiking stuff uh, maybe going to some restaurants when everything fully opens back up so i wanted something small portable i wanted something with the articulating lens so that you know like i said i could have a little built-in monitor to uh make sure everything's kosher as we're recording uh, this one had the option for the external mic it had the hdmi it's got built-in wireless so that i can take photos and immediately get them uh, uploaded to social media um yeah i mean it, it just had everything that i was looking for in a camera i guess that's how you Oh, ain't that snazzy? <laughs> oh, 
I'm a goofball, I know, but never had anything like this, so I'm kind of cheesing out over it. Not 100% sure on every single thing, but I'll figure it out. That's where the battery goes in. Canon makes a really good product. I know that, like I said, this one doesn't have near the lens selection as the DSLRs, but it has several currently. Uh, it has an adapter where you can get every single Canon lens uh, to fit on there. You just have to buy the little adapter, a uh, little one-time deal, and then you can buy, you know, all the lenses you want. And I don't know, you know, how, you know, much I want to invest in it. I, you know, like I said, this is the, the first foray into this. Um, I enjoy taking pictures and that kind of thing and videos. So, you know, who knows, you know, I may end up going with something a little more high class or a high end, I should say, uh, down the road and get a bunch of lenses and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, you'll start seeing my famous photos all over the internet or something. Who knows? Who knows? But I was super excited. My very first real camera I uh, went with the Canon EOS M50, a uh, little accessory kit, and yeah, I'm super excited with it. Everything came in, nothing's broken, um, UPS, great job getting it here, no complaints on that. Put the lens cap back on there so I don't lose anything. I think that one is not the right one. That one. I didn't. <laughs> I got every cap from all the lenses laying down here. <laughs> so I gotta put those all back where they go. But anyway, yeah. That is my Canon M50 with the Rode mic, the lens, accessory kit, extra batteries, wrist strap, some kind of rubber deal, um, and bag. Well, that's it. All right, guys. Um, like I posted on Facebook, we had a crazy couple of weeks, so I didn't get any challenge videos up. Uh, but I do have a couple, I have a challenge video uh, for this week, and then I think we've got a taste test video for this week, something uh, new we found in a local store. Uh, one of those places, I don't know if they're a nationwide company, Ross Dress for Less. They're kind of like a they like a Big Lots kind of esque type thing where they get various different items in uh, from all over the place and sell them at discount prices, you know, maybe something was slightly flawed or, uh, whatever. It's not like a used place, but it's like a, you know, a, a stitch bad in a pair of jeans or something and they'll sell it at a discount. Uh, but ran across a neat little snack item in there that, uh, me and Jay are going to try out this week and, um, got a little, uh, much requested challenge video, uh, for this week as well. Um, had a buddy at work suggest it and uh, thought I'd give it a shot and see how I do with it. But anyway, I am not gonna keep rambling on. Like I said, I'll be back in the kitchen with a couple of videos for you guys um, later on in the week. And you know, we'll see, definitely have one up for Sunday or whatever. But as always, this is Seabeard Try. Uh, if you like this video, let me know down below. Give me a like. Give me a share. Um, you know, if you're familiar with the channel, you know this is not my normal content. But if this is your first time, normally I do crazy, um, spicy eating challenges and chugging challenges and uh, food challenges and whatnot like that. Some travel videos. Just kind of a, a dad on the go um, experience in life. You know, kind of grew up a little um, sheltered is not the right word. Uh, I'd say broke unable to do much. So now as I'm older, I'm experiencing the world. You know, I've got three teenagers and we're experiencing the world together, my wife um, and us five. You know, we, we like to get out and see what kind of mischief we can get into. 
Um, as always, like Memo always said, can't, never could, do nothing, try, done wonders. This is Seabear Try. See you on the next one. Peace.